If you ain't necking it, you ain't sticking it. Lil' Kim raised me. Herpes could never. Herpes could never break me. Could never again make me feel less of. Herpes can't take my sexy away from me. Herpes does not take my worth away. Herpes does not devalue me. Herpes can never. Welcome to my channel, y'all. My name is Shannon Singleton, aka The Herpes Goddess. And yes, having me is a big flex. I am the founder of Herpes Can Never Grow in the largest herpes awareness platform because I inspire people to love themselves more. The mission at Herpes Can Never is to be at war with the stigma until our community feels comfortable being open about their status and proud of their sexuality. If you are searching for herpes resources like safe sex and herpes disclosure, herpes diet and remedies, being a mother with herpes, living with herpes and HIV, learning your triggers and prodrome symptoms, and so much more, go ahead to this to the description box below this video and select that link that is going to lead you to my link tree filled with herpes resource now that's neither here or there because i didn't come here for that the title was can i still get head having herpes and for me it's hell yeah it's a personal decision and it's a decision be that's going to be made between you and your partner more so you and how you feel about your herpes right um, I'm a firm believer that if you ain't looking at it, you ain't sticking it. You heard it in the beginning of the of, of the um video. But at the end of the day, your partner has to have the understanding that there's always going to be a chance that they can get herpes from you. Yes, there's, there's safe ways you can have sex. We have the safe sex and herpes disclosure workshop again in the link below. Yes, there's a way you can be with your partner for a long period of time, like our famous Alexandra Habuska, founder of Life with Herpes. She's been with her husband for over a decade. He still does not have herpes. Yes, you can protect your partner, but that is not my point in this video. My point in this video is you have to, you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be loved fully. You deserve to be loved the way you want to be loved. Okay, you deserve a partner that wants to pleasure you in the ways you want to be pleasured in. You deserve a partner that can't keep their hands off of you, that is all about you and completely into you and want to love on you like a normal human being that you are. You just have herpes. Okay, and that's it. Um, a part of this question, this question is stemmed from people feeling like a risk. And my question is, why do you view yourself as a risk? What risk is your partner taking? Write it down. Do a journal exercise. Really figure that out. Because at the end of the day, all the thing I came up with was they may or may not experience an outbreak. Most people with herpes are asymptomatic. There's that may or may not part. What is the risk? My partner's not going to die. Nothing, it's nothing life altering is going to happen besides the mental part and at the end of the day if you've really been listening to my videos you we all know that the herpes stigma and the herpes virus are two different things so what is the risk what is holding you back what is holding you back from enjoying your sex life i can't imagine the sex life when you're sitting there having sex and you have to think about your herpes and passing it on to your partner the entire time how are you even reaching orgasm doing that? Stressing yourself out. I don't want to be in no relationship where my partner is making me feel like a risk. I don't want to be in no relationship where I have to tiptoe. I don't have to I want to be in no relationship where I feel like I can't enjoy certain things because my partner is afraid of my heartbeats. Baby, I am not for the afraid. I am not for the scared. If you're scared of my herpes, leave me alone don't even slide in my dm i have herpes it comes with the territory having me is a big flex there's so much things that are grand about me that my herpes is not even being brought up when it comes to the what i bring to the table my spirit my energy what i do for this world my purpose how i show up as a mother my hustlers everything about me is big flex energy 
it's expected for you to accept my herpes. And if you don't want to, that's okay. You just ain't for me. What's for you will not pass you by, y'all. And like Euphoria says all the, all the time, rejection is redirection. Yes, you can still have sex. I mean, have sex being herpes positive. Yes, you can still get head being herpes positive. Your partner just has that be make that choice to move forward with you. And somebody for you will. The person not for you is going to be the person who doesn't want to get herpes. And that's fine. But the person that's for you, the person made for you, is going to be completely okay with the fact that you have herpes. You can use dentodams. You can use condoms. Be on suppression medication. You can change your lifestyle. You can do whatever you want to do that makes you feel better about your herpes. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be a chance that your partner can contract the virus. That's one. Two, work with how you feel about your herpes. If you accept your status, you ain't going to be worried about the next person who does or do does not accept your status. Because how you feel about yourself will be enough. And you'll be able to attract the person for you. There's so many people on here that's going to come. This on not on here, but there's so many people in life that is going to give you the energy that you need, okay? That energy, babe, you having an outbreak? Do you need something? Babe, you having an outbreak? Can I see? Babe, you having an outbreak? Let me buy this and this and that for you so that you feel better. Babe, don't do, do that. I know that's one of your triggers. Babe, your immune system is low, so we're going to take a little break. Babe, I don't care if you have having an outbreak. We can just do this and this and this and that, or I just want to hold you tonight. Babe, I don't care if you have herpes. I, I know your pros and symptoms. I know your triggers. I know that you're not having an outbreak right now. I just want to make you feel good. I can't keep my hands off of you. I love you so much. I want to pleasure you. There's so many people in this world that's going to give you that energy. But you got to give that energy to yourself first so you can attract that energy right back. But if you coming out here scared about your herpes, you want to attract people that's going to be scared of your herpes. Okay? Or you're going to attract somebody that is going to be attracted to the fact that you love your, that you can't love yourself 100%, that you haven't accepted your herpes. People that benefit off of that, narcissists and manipulators. So if you're feeling like a risk, if you're feeling a little hesitant, if you're not wanting to be touched or you don't even want to talk to people because you know that you have herpes and you feel a way about your herpes, take a break from dating. Take a break from sex and focus on you and figure that out and start healing and do the work that you need to do so you can show up for you 100%. Okay? If it's a worry or if it's a concern, you're not ready to date. And I say that not trying to be an asshole, not trying to make you feel a way, not trying to trigger you, but to let you know that it's okay. I took time for myself. There was a time I felt a way about my heartbeat. And I needed to work through that because I couldn't accept that. I couldn't accept that narrative for me. Nothing has changed besides the, nothing has changed but your knowing. The only thing that's changed the day you found out you had herpes is that you knew that you had herpes. Nothing else changed about you. It's still magic. It's still royalty. You're still deserving of love. And you deserve that love from you. Stop trying to find that love from other people and get it from you first so that you can set intentions moving forward. Boundaries, requirements. You ain't licking it, you ain't sticking it. That's a requirement of mine. Yes, you can still get head while you have herpes, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Support is free. Your girl needs it. Click the link in the description box below. Mad Herpes Resources. I love y'all.